good documentation practices are in this uh, particular alcoa principles the guidelines have been provided by various regulatory agencies including the mhra and uh, other regulatory agencies they are alcoa plus earlier it used to be called as alcoa it's now called as alcoa plus principles attributable legible contemporaneous original accurate the plus comes in as in complete consistent enduring and available what do you mean by attributable attributable is very very critical you need to attribute the particular activity to the data to a particular activity so the 5w1h principle stays here the 5w1h principle indicates that the where when what why who and how have to be addressed in this particular attribute attributes of the data the data has to be legible be it in electronic be it in paper the data has to be legible that means you need, you should ensure that any corrections made are struck off with a single stroke signed and dated with the correct corrected uh, data and very importantly whitener should not be used subsequently in the electronic data all changes that has been made has to be traceable there should be an audit trail available the date and time stamp has to be available so that the entire activity can be reconstructed you need to ensure that the data is contemporaneous you en enter the data as and when you do the activity that is as soon as you finish that particular act you need to record the data the data should be original the first point of entry of data is known as the source data or it's also called as the raw data and this could be in thermal paper and as you are aware the thermal paper over a period of time becomes illegible that means you are unable to decipher the content in the paper so you need to photocopy them you need to review and verify it and put your sign on it and accordingly the data first point of entry of data if in case it's in the lab notebook you need to preserve the lab notebook same thing holds good for the electronic data as well accuracy of data the data that is obtained is what needs to be indicated that means if in case an experiment has failed the failed experiment data also should be documented not documented not documenting the failed experimental data and indicating it as a past experimental data is actually a instance of fraud okay the data has to be complete in all its respects that means you need to ensure that the da data about data that is the metadata is available you need to ensure that it is consistent to the activity conducted you need to ensure that it is enduring you need to ensure that the medium and the data is enduring because it needs to withstand and it has to be stored for a long period and it has to be available for the regulatory agency scrutiny as well 